A great player of the year race, no doubt about it. Action on Anthony Zeno. And he looks down at a pair of kings. Yeah, because he's picked up pocket kings. DraftKings will put $1,000 into his DraftKings account. He has raised to 160 into I, Dr. Corey, who has an ace five of clubs. Well, he's going to three bet it here, Vince, and a big three bet. Looks like 480,000 with the ace five. Buffalo Bailey getting out of their way. Back on the ant. It's a two-fisted million bet. Those are 500,000 a stack there. All in. Corey's gone all in, and a quick call, of course, by Zeno. Good Evan. Well, Vince, Corey's played so aggressive at this final table all night long. It's worked well for him most of the time. Well, whatever happens, you know, it's all good. He got carried away a little bit ago against Mark when he doubled him up. And now he's got Anthony Zeno all in with a good shot to double up, unless he hits an ace, probably. And the flop is a 10 9 7. The king's out in front for Zeno. Pair the board. What's your name? Nick? Don? Pair the board, Don. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see Brad right Renner for a straight to the five or something stupid like that. Corey Hawkman, who had a big yeah, chip well lead, now in dire straits That's with good. two cards to come in this hand. Here comes Fourth Street. It's a jack of diamonds, no help for Corey. His girlfriend, Jeanette, just can't look. We are going down to the river. <laughs> Can Corey make it happen? No, it's a seven of diamonds. Well, that's going to do it. Anthony Zeno is going to double up here and regain the chip lead. And that's Corey Hockman took a nice sized chip lead. He bluffed his money off in one spot, cold his money off in another. You just wonder. Could he be playing a little bit too loose? 